Strife, and I'm back with more Zombie U. And I am absolutely scared stiff here. Because I'm in the basement, or uh, at least one of the lower levels, of the Tower of London. And this place was horrifying for more than one reason. Long before I came here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh. I am so, so, I'm so freaked out right now. It is. I can't even describe how. Oh my god, I don't want to be here. Okay, lockpick. Let's just slide it to one side. Find that tension. Slide it to the other. Find the tension. Alright, picked it. Oh boy. Two bullets. It's good. I like that. Okay. Um. Just keep it together, man. Keep it together. You can do this. You can manage. You've been you've been through worse. You played through the original Silent Hill without any clue. Learned how to love that game. Oh. God, I'm freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. There's a hex on the wall. There's a, there's a hex on the wall. That just... Zombies are bad enough because they can be explained scientifically in some manner, but this... We lost so much knowledge when Deep Library at Mortlake was pillaged. We've collected what remains, but none of us have these minds to make sense of it all. It will work like a black light now. Look for the signs. Troops from D. No entry. Well, this is weird. Um. South D's Sceptogram. It symbolizes the unity of the four elements with alchemy, magic, and science. To us, it opens a path to secret knowledge. Isn't that nice? Metal container empty. Um, what am I searching for here? That seems conspicuous. Nice work. Okay, so I scanned it with the pad, and I don't know how. That made any difference, but scanning... I don't know how many years old door. <laughs> Hundreds of years old, at least. With an electronic pad. Got a dead one. No, not sewers. Oh, son of a freaking... Yeah, easier said than done. You're not lurking down through the sewers with zombies at your tail. Okay. I don't think that that's a dead one. Um... Well, more more specific to say, I don't think that. Oh, hey, there, are, there's an arrow on the ground. You can see it. They're all pointing in one direction, huh? 
place officially doesn't exist. Well, that's fantastic. Hmm. Okay, well... I've got at least three zombies that are supposed to be around the corner here. Son of a bitch! What the fuck just happened? He had some sort of explosive tank on his back. I hit him... ...and he blew up in my face. That's a lot of shit that just vanished on me. Oh my god. Are you prepared? Okay, everyone, I'm back. I'm, uh, I'm another survivor. This one's a fat guy who's uh, evidently led a life as a street peddler. Are there really two zombies down this way? Okay, it looks like the corridors are pretty much clean. Um, luckily, it looks like I'm not going to be faced with anything particularly nasty in the process of killing my last survivor. Got some handgun bullets off of this corpse. I like how, uh, even though there was nothing on it, you know, like, five minutes ago, there's stuff on him now. Just for the sake of helping me out a little bit. Hmm. Alright, now that I have the blacklight installed on my, uh, gamepad, there's a series of other things that I'll be able to do. Now, one of the shits over here is going to be the last me. There he is. Wait a minute, that's not me. That's someone else. Grab this stuff real fast. Close it up. Close it up. There's anything. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Okay. I am extremely apprehensive. This place is a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> 
you have got to go. You nearly got me. Go! Die for God's sake! Got a flare. Okay, where am I going now? Oh God, poor Lewis. Come on. You're gonna get me. You gotta try harder than that. So I've learned something. The longer I hold down the attack button, the harder my swings. Gonna shut that off. I know you guys can't can barely see anything right now, but I need to recharge the batteries. Reload that any way that I can. Switch back to the cricket bat. Right. It's a gun upgrade. This place isn't exactly that complicated. It's not that much of a maze. Not like it's intended, clearly. Creeped out by the screaming that I'm hearing, though. Ugh. Piss off. Motherfucker. Come on. Come on. Kill you yet. Piece of crap zombie. Ugh. Take me off guard like that. Whoa! Oh, ooh. You can really get caught off guard in this game by paying attention to the screen in your hands instead of the screen on the TV. Which, you know, is a nuisance. But at the same time, um, it really adds to the, uh, the survival horror aspect to the fact that uh, to keep track of one thing, you have to take your eyes off another. Ugh. You know, not that a scenario like this is realistic in any sense, but... Whew. Um... It's a little bit more... Believable... Whenever the... There's, there's a... There's a better possibility of failure. Just for the sole fact... Take a drink. That you have to keep track of more things than at 
once. So with that, um, <laughs> anyways, with that, I think this is going to be the end of this current episode. So I'll keep going up and hopefully I'll get out of these horrible dungeons um, in the next episode. But until then, uh, I'm left squatting right here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.